What's going on? New video. So, in this video, I want to talk about maybe give it, not maybe give it, but I want to give a recap on fat loss. Some of the things that I think about, some of the, what's the word? Just the way that I see fat loss and uh, give it a recap for for basically a lot of you subscribers or the new ones that have been coming to the channel. I want to give a little bit of a recap because sometimes, you know, when I think of this quote, I don't know if it's a quote, but I heard somebody say, we need to be reminded more than we need to be taught. So I want to give a little bit of a recap of some of the, not some of the, but the way that I see fat loss, some of the things that helped me, you know, lose over a hundred plus pounds throughout my journey at my max. I was about, you know, like two, almost 300 pounds, 275, 272 plus was my highest. I remember being a 40 inch waist and then going up to a 44. So, I mean, being over 272, I feel like I really did gain more than that after a while, but recorded, I was 272 at my max at 510, 5'11", um, and my lowest being 158. <laughs> um, over time as I grew, you know, now I'm six feet. So I wanna give a little bit of some recap, some uh, things that I think about when it comes to fat loss, especially when it comes to fit motive, um, because I know you do see simplicity, enjoyment equals consistent commitment. And uh, I wanna give a little bit of some things that I think about, some of the things, like I said, much more of a recap uh, when it comes to uh, losing fat, right? So behind every principle, there's a promise. Um, and if you haven't heard it before, I mean, I've probably heard it everywhere when it comes to fitness is that in order to lose fat, in order to lose uh, weight and fat overall, you need to be in a calorie deficit, right? An energy deficit. So there's calorie deficit, calorie maintenance, calorie surplus. Let's say your calorie maintenance is 2,500 a calorie deficit, a 500 calorie deficit from that would be 2,000. If you were to eat 2,000 for the next seven days, that's a 500 calorie deficit each one of those days. What's seven times 500, 3,500. There's 3,500 calories in a pound, so you just lost a pound of fat. Um, and vice versa, with a calorie surplus, you gain a pound if you eat an extra 500. If you eat 3,000 every day, but if you eat 2,500, throughout the seven days, then, you know, you maintain everything, right? And also, you know, I'm not like a doctor or anything like that. And I know there's a lot of young guys on my channel. So if you're like 13, 14, 15, 16, you know, and you're trying to lose weight, you know, some of the things I feel like you gotta do is talk to your doctor first, I'd say, because, you know, you're still growing. You're still, uh, you're literally still growing. So always being in a calorie deficit and doing all of this stuff might not be helpful for your health. It'd be better for you to consult a doctor so he can help you along those lines but usually you know for the majority of people because youtube i know i say this almost every video but youtube uh tells me that the guys or the majority of the people who watch my videos are 18 to 24 uh it said 90 something percent um and you're all dudes too so you know i'm gonna giving you some of you guys advice along the way some of the things that helped me and uh you know so we already got that down right we got the calorie deficit so once you get your calorie deficit numbers down and once you understand that being in a calorie deficit consistently over time is going to get you the results being consistent is once you figure that out or once you already understand that that's when we get into the uh technicalities of fat loss right so for example whatever i think of the technicalities kind of where my mind goes to is what you eat when you eat and maybe even how you eat right so what you eat um, basically if you know you don't want to what you eat does play a, a huge role depending on like over time with the consistency and stuff like that right so eating healthy foods eating certain foods that are gonna help you be consistent along that calorie deficit journey is what's going to help you be and maintain more consistency right so for example I had made a video before talking about like it doesn't have to be so difficult it doesn't have to be so um, you know chicken chicken broccoli rice type of thing right we live in the age of information you know there's a billion things that we can do there's always going to be recipes there's always going to be something i mean if you pick a hundred or if you experiment and you try a hundred different recipes then you'll find that there's maybe about five to ten that are really going to resonate with you and that are really going to be helpful in order to maintain that calorie deficit right so for example for me some of the things that i've learned because and i said well some of the things that i've been trying some of the things that i've learned that have helped me recently has been like the anabolic diet um 
eating anabolic French toast, the volume in that food is what keeps me full. Another technicality of, of fat loss, if you feel like you need to have that sense of feeling full throughout your calorie deficit, especially when it gets hard, that's one way of uh, understanding what you eat is going to help you become more consistent because really the whole entire deal of everything is you want to be consistent. It's being consistent. The technicalities, what you eat um, and when you eat is what's going to help you stay on that consistent calorie deficit over time because keep in mind, you know, we're still in a calorie deficit. So there's things that'll help you when it comes to what you eat to maintain that calorie deficit, right? So when you eat also is uh, like intermittent fasting, um, six meals per day, and this varies from first and from person from person to person, right? It's not going to be. Um, I mean, if you ask a hundred different people what helped you lose weight, I mean, you're, you might find a little bit of some common threads, themes, but at the end of the day, you're going to get a hundred different answers, right? So when you eat is what I'd say to start experimenting on. Likewise with what you eat, you know, try different recipes. Uh, are you the person who do you like intermittent fasting? Does it work for your your career, your job, what you do? Um, or do you have time to eat? Like, do you enjoy eating the six meals per day, three meals per day? Um, you know, and like I said, bro, we live in the age of information. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of different things that you can try. But you also, like I've said, bro, in, in, in all the 300 videos that I have is you have to experiment. You have to get those tools. You have to try different things in order to figure out what is going to help you stay consistent. And there literally is a million things out there that you can try. And I'll tell you right now, there is going to be things that are going to work. There's going to be things that are going to work, but you have to put in the experimentation in order to figure out, is this going to work for me? Is this, or not, is it going to work for me? But you'll know if it works for you, right? You'll know if it's what's going to be for you at the right time. Um, so for me, for example, I like to do intermittent fasting. I like to save my calories for later during the day is what helps me stay full, what helps me stay consistent on my uh, calorie deficit like recently today not recently but for this entire week I'm cutting basically so I usually like to do um, one meal a day which is OMAD and uh, I'll have maybe one to two cups of coffee in the morning uh, until like 12 o'clock because I don't want to keep that caffeine you know rolling throughout the day it'll disturb my sleep um, so that's what I've been doing I'll do one in OMAD which one meal a day I'll have a couple cups of coffee in the morning drink tons of water throughout the day have a workout have some pre-workout um, Gorilla Mind, I love that guy. <laughs> I love Derek, but you know, that's one thing that's worked for me, you know, because back then I used to try different intermittent fasting things, right? I used to try the four hour window, didn't work for me. Um, eating three meals per day didn't work for me. Um, but you know, there's certain things that just stick, you know, and that's one of the things that I'd say for you to start trying and start experimenting on is when it comes to fat loss and being consistent. I mean, that's pretty much what we're doing, right? We're all trying to make, maintain consistency. We're trying to maintain uh, 2,000 calories. That, I'm not saying that that's for everybody, but like, you know, in order to, main, to, in order to maintain 2,000 calories, you know, what you eat and when you eat are going to play a gigantic role in that consistency maintenance for your calorie deficit, right? Same thing with how, because one of the things that also, I mean, I don't know, not that I don't know, well, yeah, I guess I don't know a lot about it because the more you know, the more you don't know. Um, is like with my one meal a day, I like to eat it. Like I have a big, um, it's just like protein, rice, um, and things like that. Almost like an Italian dish that I like to eat. But if it's like in a big bowl, maybe even a soup or whatever that may be, um, I like to eat it with like a small spoon or a small fork. It makes it seem as if you're eating a lot more than you naturally are. It doesn't have to be for like the one, for the old, for like the OMAD, right? But I mean, if you eat like how you eat, you know what I mean? Also, um, you know, if you're the type of person that you like to eat tons of different things, like you have to, like you like to have an appetizer, um, and then the full course meal, then dessert, you can do things like that. I mean, there's also, I mean, if you like charcuterie boards, you know, eating tons of different types of things like that might make you feel a lot fuller. It'll give the illusion of you're eating much more than what you actually are. And uh, these are just the technicalities that help you maintain the consistency of a calorie deficit, right? So that's kind of a little bit of a recap when it comes to like how I see fat loss. I mean, we all know it's a calorie deficit. We've heard it a billion times. You know, I've said it a billion times. Greg has said it a billion times. And I mean, you can see the common theme with a lot of people in the fitness industry, even at the highest level of these individuals, you can see that they figure out what works best for them, for their life, for their career, for their job, for their situation in life. You know what I mean? But you do have to experiment. You do have to try different things out. And the lucky thing is, is that we live in the age of information. You know, we don't have to freaking 
walk 10 miles to the fucking library of Alexandria and shit so that we can get the knowledge, right? We can just go on YouTube and figure it out. You know, there's a billion different things. You can go to Google. I mean, the world is in our hands, basically in this hand. I mean, in this phone, you know, on the internet. So it's a little bit of a recap when it comes to fat loss, some of the things that I think about. I mean, I can go on for hours, not hours, probably hours, days, not days, years, months, not nah, decades, now nah, I really know. But I mean, I could talk a lot about when it comes to that, man. But some of the things that I really think about, some of the things that I feel will genuinely help you is once you understand the calorie deficit and the technicalities that come with it, the when you eat and what you eat and some how you eat, it's gonna play a big role in maintaining that calorie deficit, right? So the summary of this video, I guess, you know, experiment. Experiment with the calorie deficit, experiment with what you eat, you know, what foods are gonna keep you full, satiated, whether it be health food, whether it be voluminous food, um, you know, and then start working with that. Put that tool into your tool belt. You know, when you eat, you know, maybe you want to try intermittent fasting. Maybe you want to try uh, the six meals per day. Because I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit here and stand and say that, oh, the only thing is intermittent fasting. The best thing to do is this. Because there's a lot of different ways that you can do. And you know, there's a lot of different ways that are going to work for you, that are going to help you. Because like I said, you ask a hundred different people what helped you lose weight. You might find common themes, but you're going to get a hundred different answers. So, you know, we're all trying to figure out what works best for us. You know, that's really pretty much what we're all doing. So hope I can put you in that right mindset, that might, that bite, that right frame of mind to help you get onto the right path to start experimenting and start figuring out what works best for you. And dude, I mean, we're lucky, man. We have the internet code and I mean, we can get, we have everything, literally everything on the internet. You just gotta look for it. You gotta try it. Don't judge yourself and uh, you know, be you because there's a lot of different things that you can do. There really is a lot of different things that you can do and i've tried tons of different stuff too but you know there's things that will stick there is things that will stick and uh it's gonna be it for the video much love y'all take care